Ware from Union City, Tennessee, Coco Ware. On the left of your screen, at a total of 471 pounds. Russell, from Memphis, Russell, Tennessee, Wayne Ferris. On, Danny, from not Louisiana, now. Larry Latham. Hey, not now, Danny. Come on, we got a match getting ready yeah, to start. I know we got a match, but I got something real important to say. You know, last week I had a surprise for you out here. Yeah, you got And this surprise. week is not going to be any different. Uh -huh. Not only is today my birthday, well, that's secondary. You see this right here? Can the camera get a close-up shot of this beautiful cake? Hey, Danny, would well, you? Well, no, let the camera get a close-up of this beautiful cake. And what does it say? What does it say, it Russell? It says, congratulations, Sergeant Davis. That's right. Sergeant Davis. Last week I was Excuse out me. here. What was I? I was a private. I'd done good. How did I do good? I recruited the best father and son team. I recruited the best team standing in the ring right there with those championship belts. Uh-huh, I know. And Sonny King, General Sonny King, got word of it, and he promoted me to sergeant. Oh, that's and then, well. Hey, for his appreciation, he sent me this cake. This beautiful cake, and today we're going to have a party. So, gents, come well, on down here. Why don't here. you do Look. another good thing no. and just take no. the cake? No, 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 no. We're going to have a party. I want to invite all my friends. Hey. Right my friends right here. Now, now, now. Now, Russell, you're not invited because I don't like you anyway. Hey, listen, and none of these idiots over here. Manage. I don't like none of you. Well, out. so you're not invited, Russell, so you just sit down. You and we're, got a match. We're going to cut, hey, hey, cut some cake right here. We're going to cut some cake right here, baby. We're going to cut some cake and have ourselves a party right here. But you're not invited, Russell, so you might as well just Stand sit down. Will you just take the cake? I'd love to tell you what hey, to do with it, please. Just... Give me some. Oh. Here, here, have, have some of my cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some of my cake. Will you please here, get the here, cake here. out of here? here, here. Who else needs some of my cake? Here, have some of that right there. Hey, come on, Jay. Get the stuff on it. Yeah, come on. Come. What do you mean? What do you mean? Me? I mean, get the cake out hey, of here look and take your stripes look at buddy. and your birthday. All right, that boy, buddy. Oh, oh, hey, look at the man eat. Double the man it. hadn't ate in a whole week. The man hadn't ate in a week. Look at him. Hey, can look we at get him. this thing going? Yeah, we're going to get it running. We're going to get things going, but we're going to have some cake here. Hey. Sonny King you should be here. General Sonny King, you should be here. We really appreciate Will this. You please hey, take the about... cake and get it out no, of here. No, hey, we're going to have a party. Yeah, fine. Now, this well, is a party. party somewhere no, you, might you, might you might as well just sit down. You might as well just sit down. You might as well just sit down. You guys get out of here. Have that piece right there. Can we get this thing started? We're going to have a match. But just be quiet because we got to do this. This right here. Yeah, you got to do it. Well, go do it somewhere else and get it out of here. Now, isn't this the greatest team of wrestlers that you've ever seen? Yeah, they're marvelous. What do you think about this? I just and, love it. And I know you want some of this cake, no, but I'm not going to get. But I'm not going to give you any of it. Will you please just take it out of here? No, Danny. I'm not going to take this cake anywhere. Desk, you've no, done everything else. No, hey, just get it out the match. Who, who wants some more cake? Who, who wants some more cake? I got, I got what about you? Want some more cake over? Okay, yeah, there you go. There you go. What about you? Oh, you what about it, buddy? You want, buddy, you want some more cake? That's all there is to it. We got a match ready to go. Will you stop cutting this thing out? What about it? You want some more cake, Pete? Here you go, Big Pete. Take a big slice of that cake right there. There you go. All right, Danny, that's enough. You've had your fun. That's all there is to it. Now, let's get it out of here. Let's be fun. Just get it out of here. You already had the cake out of here. I told you last week that if I'd done good, I was going to get promoted. And I'd done good because look at the results. They're standing right here. And what? We're celebrating. We're celebrating by eating cake right here. Does anybody want to drink a water? Does anybody want to drink a water? Anybody want to drink a water? Take a big swig. Take a big swig of that. All right. Well, I'm going to ring the bell. What are you doing ringing the bell? We're Last not through yet. We're not get through yet. What's the matter with you? We're not okay, through. Okay, well, take your cake and get it out of here. They haven't had a chance to finish their cake. Let's get the stuff out You're a out very of rude here. person, Russell. You're a very rude person. Yeah, well, ringing the bell right in the middle of a party. Right in the middle of a party. You can have your party some other time. I just get out of here. Go ahead and count on. They're going to be counted out. That's what they're doing up there. Yeah, Russell, great, you're Danny. You're not a very nice person. Ringing a bell right in the middle of a party. Yeah, fine. I wish you would just get this stuff out of here, Danny, and let us get this match underway. What can I get me a chair? I don't care about your chair. <laughs> bell time, and here we go. Where's me a chair to sit over here, Lance? I got to have a chair out here. Uh, okay, there's a chair. We're underway here. Yeah, Finally. baby, go. Jerry Bryant puts Ferris on the mat. Boy, he took him straight down. Bryant and Coco standing watching as we all were the uh, celebration. Ferris 
Oh, up in the air. Jerry Bryant picked him right up. Slammed him to the mat. There's Wayne Ferris. He's to the corner, makes a tag on his partner, Larry Latham. They are the current holders of the AWA Southern Tag Team Championship belts, but this is not a title match. Bryant has Latham on the mat. Latham worried about uh, something the crowd might be saying to him. They better worry about Bryant. Bryant makes the tag, and here comes Coco. Coco where? Coco gets the best of that one. Puts him on the mat. And bars his left arm. Larry Latham back on his feet now. Backs to the corner. Gets the tag on Wayne Ferris. Coco waiting for it. Look at Coco move. I didn't see any hair pulling, Danny. Didn't see any hair pulling. Sergeant Danny Davis seated in the corner. Ferris with a headlock on Coco. Coco powering out of it. He doesn't. Referee was right there. Ferris did not have the opportunity to uh, keep him in that hole by one of his hair pulling tactics or whatever. We've seen him do so many times. That's Bryant in there. Jerry Bryant against Wayne Ferris. Two minutes, 40 seconds gone. Reminder again, this is a one fall, 20 minute time limit match. Ferris gets the tag and here is Larry Latham. His partner from Louisiana, Jerry Bryant, greets him. Latham. Put Bryant to the mat, but Bryant hangs on. Danny, I haven't seen any hair pulling yet. <laughs> Referee Jerry Calhoun right there. Apparently he hasn't seen any hair pulling either because uh, he has not issued any warning. He's been right on top of it. Over to the corner, tag made on Coco Ware. Coco backs Latham into a corner. Flips him across the ring, into the turnbuckle. Latham hits the mat, Coco covers. Poor referee Jerry Calhoun gets the count started, though. Latham is back up off. Broke the cover. Coco with another cover. Count of one. Coco around behind him with a reverse face lock. Latham out of the hole. Puts the hammer on Coco. Over to the corner. Tag made. Here is Ferris. Oh, Coco popped him with the right hand. Over to the corner. It tags Jerry Bryant. Coco puts Ferris into the rope. Bryant waiting for him with that upper arm as he comes off of there. Count is one, two. Two count, and Ferris breaks out of it. We're very close to the five-minute mark. Right now, five minutes gone in this match. Larry Latham in against Jerry Bryant. Oh, high in the air. Latham drove into the mat with a body shot. A little hair pulling Sergeant Davis, but it's being done by Latham. Pounding Jerry by Bryant across the back. Ferris in with a double forearm. Bryant's head 
into the top turnbuckle. There's, smacks him into Latham's knee over near corner. Bag made. Here's Latham coming back. There's a double team. Latham on the middle rope. He covers. Coco is right there to break it up before the count can start. Coco back out on the apron. Larry Latham against Jerry Bryant. Bryant up in the air. Backbreaker by Latham. There's a cover. One. Latham picks him up. But he got in the count of three or not. We'll never know because Latham would not go for the pin. Bryant fighting his way back, Dave. Bryant over to the corner. Did he get the tag? No, he missed it. Did not get the tag on Coco. There's Coco. He's waiting there in the corner for the tag. Bryant knew he needed to get there. Get Coco in. Just couldn't quite make it. Bryant, whoa, flip. Larry Latham picking him up by the hair. Latham tags Ferris, grabs Bryant, kept him away from the tag, and again, Bryant unable to get to the corner to get the tag on his partner, Coco Ware. Ferris and Latham with Bryant tied up back in their corner. Here's Coco in. He grabs Latham out on the apron. Referee Jerry Calhoun trying to get him back out on the apron. Sergeant Davis has just passed a belt or something in to, to Latham and Ferris. They clothesline Bryant with it. And he's on the mat. Count as a two, three. That is it. Seven minutes, 35 seconds. And the win is going to go to the team of Latham and Ferris. Again, the time on it, 7.35. Perfect example of double teaming in there. No question about what Ferris and Latham. Yeah, I saw one about it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how the champions work. Yeah, that's I know. That's exactly what I know. I saw the champions. Thousands of letters. Thousands of phone calls. Want more TV time for the champions? Yeah, yeah. We're the champions. We're gonna have that TV time today, Lance Russell. You got. I gave you. Yes, look at the body on this man. You look at it. Would we want TV time. Now? We're going to have it. We're the champions. You, can you take saw what we did to them here. geeks up there, didn't you? Okay. You just All of you just the get the cake on. and get it out of here and just take it right like, on. Give them that million dollar grand, Larry. Wayne, just take oh, it on out of here. See that? That ain't Conway Twitty. That's Larry Latham. Okay. You see that, I'll don't tell you? what we're going to do. You ain't going to break yet. We, we want TV time. We can take a break. Take a break right now. Let's go. Tape coming up here of Lance, some wait, action. Lance, wait just a minute. You know, you you seem to be a so-called half and half radio television commentator. Well, this man right here, he's the best commentator that ever lived. You could he could out talk how it comes out. You ain't got a chance. You know what? I want you to stand right here. Why don't you go Give me that microphone, Lance Russell. Everybody out here knows you're a liar. You're the biggest liar in the world. We all know you're a liar. You're not going to tell the truth, Lance Russell. You keep it clean, and we'll let but get You're the biggest liar in the country. Get out of here. Everybody's the biggest liar in the country. Okay. Now we have you a know how we know you're a liar, Lance of Russell? The Waynes and the Gilberts, and let's see. Hey, I'll introduce that. First, okay, I want to tell why, how I know you're a liar, Lance Russell. You know how we know? Hey, because when care. you lie and lie and lie all the time, that snout on the front grows, Lance Russell. And we can tell you told millions and millions of lies oh, with that funny, bugle funny. beak you got up there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll do the introduction. Introduction. Where's the paper? Give me the paper. Give, give me that Here paper. It is, right I'll do that. Don't wrinkle it up. I'll show you how to do this. Get your hand back out of the way, Bugle Beak. What do we get? Where are we at, Lance Russell? Oh, hey, I the see it. Get back. in the Wayne's videotape yeah. coming yeah. up. You okay. think you can handle it? I'll show you how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, I'll bet. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a videotape of one of the best father and son teams in the wrestling business today. That's Ken and his son, Buddy Wayne. It's a videotape of them going against Papa Geek and Son Geek, Tommy Gilbert and his son, Junior. Hey, roll that tape up there, would you? Come on, roll the tape, let the people see it.
commentator, that tape's been running five minutes, you ain't said a word. Say something before I kick dust in your face. What you're looking at is, uh, what you were listening to is Wayne Ferris making his comments. Now, you're an outstanding commentator. You Let's hear you make some of those unbiased, non-lying well, what comments. What we see right here is Ken Wayne, one of, the, one of the better athletes to come along these days. You see, look at Tommy Gilbert, stick his nose in. He's got no business in there. He's got no business at all. See that? Look at his boy backing up. This boy's a coward. He's a chicken. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's backing up now. He's moving he's right He's scared in. to death. Look at him. Go get him, Ken. You watch Ken Wayne. Bout took place in the Mid-South Coliseum in Memphis, Tennessee. Top wrist lock by Ken Wayne. It's a father-son bout with the Waynes against the Gilberts. Hey, you just keep watching. Yeah, he took him down. You see that? Look at the boy kick him in the face. He's not supposed to be kicking and stomping. Look at that. Also not supposed to be hair pulling. He's Nobody pulled any hair, Lance Ruff. Mm. Are you blind? Yeah, I'm not blind. Bugle beat. Why don't you say something, howdy duty? <laughs> I'm listening to your sterling commentary over there, Wayne. Brilliant. You see that great power lift over in the corner, Buddy Wayne, don't you? He's cheering his boy on, telling him everything to do. Mm -hmm. Look at that move. And over the top on the <laughs> backdrop and got on his feet. Now he's holding tight right there. You can see it. Look at him. He's holding tight. What about that was? I watched most of that bout. That buddy and Ken Wayne, they eat him alive. Ha ha. Big drop kick coming from Eddie Gilbert. He's pulling hair again. He can't wrestle. He's got a cheat. <laughs> Great mare took him right over, holding on to the standing side headlock now. Eddie Gilbert, Ken Wayne. See, I told you you, you was a liar. We know that. See, he pulled his hair again. I'd love to hear a commentary on one of your matches you would do. I bet it would be a beaut. That's the only kind I have, Lance Russell, a beaut. Mm -hmm. What do you blow out of that snout of yours anyway? Tommy Gilbert talking to uh, Father Buddy Wayne over in the corner and uh, a little consultation. But he's telling him exactly the right things to do. You wait and see. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wait and You'll see. You'll never tell him the wrong thing. Not Buddy Wayne. What Tommy's trying to do is to get Buddy to come in there and uh, or he doesn't have to jump well, on Ken Wayne. He's standing over in the corner hiding, see? He should have been watching what was going on. He got slapped upside the head. See there? He should have been watching what's in the ring instead of what's outside. I'm simply trying to get Buddy Wayne to get in there because <laughs> he didn't want to jump on Ken Wayne. He'd rather got in the father. But he just about had all what's of wrong? it he, he wanted to have. He's scared of the son. The son's a good rusher. Is he scared of him? Okay. Wear him out, Ken. What a match. What a match. He's buddy, he's buddy Wayne, his son, he's here. They're tough. They're one of the toughest teams out there. Ken Wayne. And now Tommy Gilbert. Look at Gilbert kicking. Look at that fist. He's throwing a fist. Now he shouldn't be doing that. Oh, oh, no. Of course, Ken didn't throw but about 12 in a row. He's pulling his hair right there. Look at him. See, Gilbert's got to cheat. He's nothing but a yellow dog, just a cheater. Well, he needs to be kicked out of wrestling business. Look at him. You see him using that fist on Buddy? That's illegal. He should be kicked out of the ring for that. Wayne should get their hand raised right now. Well, it reminds you of the opening bout that we had with Bryant and Ware and what you and Latham did to, uh, did to Jerry Bryant. We won the match is what we did. Yeah, you won the match. Buddy's luring him in now. Lured him in for the kill. There's that Gilbert using that fist again. Boy, don't need to be wrestling. Need to be picking cotton. Buddy Wayne laying down. Ken Wayne missed uh, Tommy trying to catch him off the rope. And son Eddie is in there. He's 
doing a pretty good job of taking care of Ken. Yeah, it looks like it. Ken's wearing him out over there. Look at that. Look at that Tommy Gilbert using that fist. He don't know how to wrestle. Supposed to be a wrestling match. You seen him wrestle any? No, Gilbert ain't gonna wrestle. The yellow dog. All four of them in the ring at one time. Referee Jerry Calhoun trying to get him squared away. All right, now what's Buddy Wayne doing? What's he doing? He's tying the string on his tights there. His tights are coming down a little bit. He's, he's tying it up. That's exactly what he's doing. Oh. See, suddenly a cloud of white went right up in Tommy Gilbert's eyes. Isn't that amazing? Well, uh, the guy that swept the ring out, he, he swept all the dust over in the side when Gilbert came over there and reached down to get Buddy. The dust flew up in his face. That's exactly what happened. We all saw that. Tommy in trouble right now at the hands of Buddy Wayne. Trouble, all right. Buddy's wearing him out. Referee trying to get Ken and Eddie out of there. Just look at that, Buddy. Look at the fire behind that. Powerful man. He's giving Gilbert a little dose of his own medicine. See, now Buddy's doing exactly the same thing that Tommy Gilbert was doing. He's paying him back, and that's what he's supposed to do. Pay him back. I see. Give him what he deserves. Look at the power behind that bloke. Bag son Ken, and Ken is in there now to take over when Tommy's hurt. Got him bleeding like a hog, ain't he? <laughs> Wear him out. Here it's just like a fish. Look at it. Yeah, I'm that looking at illegal. it. Did you see that? As a forearm. Wasn't anything illegal about it. You don't have to worry. Buddy's in there to take over on another. They busted that boy's head like busting a metal. <laughs> well, say something, Bugle B. Oh, you're the expert commentator on this whole thing. That's what you Look, told he's me. He's kicking again. Hang on, Eddie. That boy's doing the same thing his old daddy did. Look at him, just like his old daddy. Doing a pretty good job of it, too. Now, he shouldn't have threw him out of the ring. Look at him, just like his old daddy. Cover two, He's holding the tights. Three. You see him holding the tights right there? He was holding the tights. Everybody yeah. saw that. Okay. Well, it's like he you said, they the won the match. Expert commentary is exactly what you had out here, and you saw him holding the tights. The winners of, uh, of that match, uh, of course, Tommy and Eddie came through over uh, uh, Ken and Buddy, and it was uh, it was about that was exciting to everybody. Well, it looks there. like Eddie's losing right now. Tommy and Gilbert Jr. Already old over with Jr. Him. Both of them jump in. Now look at Gilbert come in. He's got no business in the ring. The match is over. That's right. He's trying to get a hold of Ken. Look at him. The yellow dog. He ain't nothing but a coward. Okay. The old boy had to cheat wow. to win. That's great. All right. Look at him. He's still holding tight. Just like he showed the old boy how to do. Yeah, okay, Wayne. Well, we appreciate you being out here. We appreciate the sterling commentary that you've given us on that. Well, I'm glad Maybe you appreciate it, but I'm not going anywhere. I told you the we champions get all TV three time, of you get out of here. Have, TV time. Just take your cake out we here. We'll, we'll take you. The champions are going to have it. You go beat. You're not going to stay out. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll get it. You're let's not, take, hey, a, let's, a, break. Let's take a break right now, and we'll be back. You just take it on out. I'll get you out of here one way or the other. Let's take a break deal with the Gilberts uh, right now. And, the Gilberts? Uh, yeah. Well, exactly. I'll let you interview the Gilberts because I don't interview trash. That's what they are. They're better trash. A good place to be would be about 14 blocks down the street. 
I'm sorry, Tommy and Eddie. I just these guys just keep running their mouth and staying out here. And uh, in any event, I want to congratulate you all. You uh, you won the bout with the uh, the wings. It was tough bout. Lance, you said about it. It was sort of like uh, winning a battle, but losing the war. And you know, there's something else that I'd like to do right now, and I want everybody to know it. I made a big mistake, a big one. Because, and the only reason that I did that is because I'm a daddy. Because I look at Eddie or how. Anybody 18, 19, 20 years old, I look at him as a kid. And I still did him and, and because I was a daddy. But he proved to me, but went in that match, a hard match whenever I was laying out on the floor great job. and couldn't get up. He come through just exactly like I had hoped that he would in time. But now, I tell you what, I consider him as much of a man as I am. And I made a mistake on uh, Ken too, because he proved to me that he can put me to my knees with a fist. And Ken, I want to tell you something right now. Whenever we step in the ring, the next time, it's not going to be two kids and two men. It is going to be four men in there and we're going to everyone be out to win because I guess y'all are going to be out there fighting as hard as we are because I, I just want to say one thing if you're not brother you're going to come out a loser because I guarantee you me and this gentleman right here whenever we step in the ring we're going to be out there to fight you and fight you hard and we're going to come out the winners that's the only thing about it Lance I'd like to say one thing Eddie and I are going to be in Oxford Mississippi tonight and we've got a lot of fans down there and we're going to be down there early, and we're hoping to see all of them. We'll see you Monday down there against the Waynes. Tommy and Eddie Gildick. Okay, uh, Dave, let's get the uh, next bout in. I'll ring the bell. Fourth. Wayne, will you just get out of here? How many times do I have to tell you guys to get out of here? We're here with Looney Tunes. We're going to do this we got a match coming up with Ken Wayne and a newcomer, Johnny Starr, who's a Southern heavyweight uh, challenger. That's Ken Wayne, that's right. I'll tell you one thing, I can get you out of here. Go Don't ahead. worry. Go ahead, get me out of here then. Get me out of here. Show me. Show me something. We're about ready to go with another match. This is going to be one fall, 15 minutes, the time limit. Introducing at 200 pounds from Memphis, Tennessee, on the left of your screen, Ken Wayne. And going that's against him. That's one half him. of the greatest father-son team in the world and today. going against him at 215 pounds from Indianapolis, Indiana, Johnny Starr. Now, this who is that? Who will is be Johnny one Star? fall, 15 minute time limit. Referee is Paul you Morton. Just, you just watch this, Ken Wayne. This right, is nothing but Sterling sure commentator, I'm going to ring the bell here. Get this underway. Look at that Ken move. Johnny Starr out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Boy, he comes highly recommended. Yeah, well, Ken's highly got him around the head. Not for long, he didn't. Look at Ken Wayne move. Look at Johnny Starr put him on the mat with Johnny a drop Star kick. Didn't do anything. He got lucky. He Ken, drop Ken's kicked him, him right to the mat. Him. Come on, Ken, wear him out. Johnny Starr. I don't think so. It looked like a clean takedown from here. Who is this star anyway? I've never heard of him. He's out of Indianapolis. Fine wrestler. Everybody's a star. Superstar, Johnny Star. Look at Ken. That's a good move. He's got the headlock. Star. Puts him into the ropes. Ha <laughs> ha, that's the way, Ken. Oh, breaks him with a drop yeah, kick he's again. The hook again. That's okay. Star's pulling hair. Ref ought to give him the match right now. He's pulling hair. Sterling commentator here has seen more hair pulling today. That's it. Except. That's a forearm. That's legal. That's legal. Look at him. That's a way, Ken. It looks like that right fist doubled up to me. He's wearing that boy out. Minute and a half gone. That was a forearm, right? Yes, sir. Sure that was it a was. Good forearm. Sure it was. He laid that one right in there. And that's what's that? That's a nerve hole Ken's got on him. There's a better known as a I choke hole. Make. That's the way, Ken. Ken's doing just like his daddy taught him. He whipped him over that time. There's that nerve hole yeah, again. He's got the nerve hole yeah. on Ken, just like right his daddy taught him. Right across his throat. He's 
got, the, got him in trouble now, any Lance Russell? Where'd Lance go? <laughs> what about it, Looney? Star back on the uh, on the ropes. Looney Tunes and said a word. Eh? Wayne firing that right fist. Star. Look at the boys using the fist again. Look yeah, at him. He is. He's fighting fire with fire. Is what he's doing. Star. Puts Ken Wayne into the turnbuckle. Leads in there after him with a forearm across the back. Ken's just baiting him. Ken's baiting the hook now. There you go. He baited the hook. You see that? That's a knee lift. Howdy do you. How about that, howdy? Johnny Star rolls it down. One, two, three. Tank. He got it. He had his, he had his shoulders he up. He did not get him. He had his shoulders up. He had his shoulders up. Now everybody saw that. He rolled him down to the mat, he held the shoulders down. there for shoulders a count up. of three. Shoulders right there. He had his shoulders up. He got a hold of the tights and everything else. He didn't win the match. No tights, no hair pulling. It was a clean win for Johnny Starr. Johnny Starr did not win the match. He had a hold of the tights. He, he had everything. Yeah, I saw it, buddy. Was that high. That. Get him back out they here. Come on. Hey, he didn't have the pin. Hey, he didn't Referee counted one, yeah. two, three. One, two, three. Referee counted two minutes, 53 seconds of time on. Get him out here. Come, Come on, buddy. Come on, boy, get back out here. You scared? The match is over. Referee Come counted on. him out, two, three, and that's it. The boy's scared. That is him. it, right he there. Shoulders, buddy, it's not going to do any good hey, to stand up there in the ring and yell. The match is over. Ken him, lost the match. He did not. Here comes a geek uh, back. Here's Johnny Starr coming back. There's no referee in here. Buddy Wayne jumping him before he can get into the ring. Here comes referee Paul Morton back in. This is not an official match. Buddy Wayne, oh, he's got him cut. He smacked him with something as he was coming into the uh, to the ropes there before Johnny Starr could ever get through the ropes. Yeah, ring up, buddy. Come on, ring that bell over here. I don't ring that bell. You let the match go. I'm ringing that bell. Let that match go on. Look out! Here comes Johnny Starr back. He drags Buddy Wayne across the ring. Bring him out, Ken. Ken Wayne jumps back. Johnny Starr puts him up. Johnny Starr taking on both of the, of the Wayne. Buddy and Ken. Here comes Tommy and Eddie Gilbert. Look at them Gilberts. Eddie Gilberts. Gotten uh, the wave almost out of here. They're still hanging over close to the door. Referee Paul Morton is now trying to get him out. I'm back to the dressing area. Johnny Starr, his forehead is messed up. Buddy Wayne, he hit him. He hit him in the top of the head with something as he was trying to, to uh, climb through the ropes. Here. But wow, Johnny Starr came roaring back. He was taking on both of them, and he had the situation almost in hand. Tommy and Eddie Gilbert got out here, and uh, that, uh, that yeah, yeah. Up, got the ring. Oh, up. yeah, we got look what's coming uh, through the door now. Yeah, you're going to get it, boy. Look what's coming through the door. Yeah. Superstar here. Let me tell you something. I got an interview right now. You'll be sitting there running your mouth for an hour. So take that little wind-up doll, that little tin soldier, and get the hell out of here. If you want to interview me, just climb up in the ring and we'll interview in the ring sport. This is my interview. So you take that little geek and that little wind-up doll that you cut around with you, and you hit the door and we go right up in the ring right there. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate hey, Lance, your help. The man. White Knight came and saved the day for you, Lance. We right. appreciate it. But I'll tell you what we need to do. We'll take a break, and we'll be back to talk to the superstar in just a moment. Hey, come on. I thought we got rid of you. I've been thinking about that challenge you issued, big man, and I'm going to give it to you right now in the ring. So get all that Elvis gear off and get up here, boy. Hey, Lance Russell. You don't have to go in for that. Show. Lance Russell. There's only one thing. There's nothing I like better to do in a fight. And when it comes to fighting this jerk, that's the only thing in the world I like to do better. Fight, Lance. Hang on to that. Hey, Billy. Hey, Ferris, don't go away, sport. 
you, you, know, you don't have to uh, put up with that kind of stuff. We'll just we go running right out of the studio, Lance. Okay. Bill Dundee, stripping it down. The superstar, uh, he's ready to go climb in a ring. Yes, take that time, sport. Lance, you be a star for the day, okay? Well, we're going to get back and enjoy it. We've got no referee. An unscheduled brawl, but I can't think of two guys better. Uh-oh, here comes Lake Baham and Davis. He's going to all three of them. Billy has stripped it down. Ready to jump right in. Buddy Wayne and Ken Wayne over there holding the door so that help can't get in here. Let's get somebody in. What, have they got the door over there? Yeah, they got the door. They're holding it from the inside so that nobody can get it open. Wayne Ferris up there with a helmet while Latham and Davis holding Dundee. We'll see if they can get somebody in. Dundee nailed with that helmet as Ferris jumped right off the rope. That's Pete Austin over there with the, uh, the Waynes. Dundee in the center of the ring. Well, try the other dude. Yeah, there's a back way in here if somebody can get around. Here they come, here they come. Eddie Marlin, the Gilberts, referee Jerry Calhoun got in here. Bill really waylaid by the three of them, Latham and Davis. And Ferris jumping off the ropes with that helmet, nailing Bill. Yeah. Okay, I think while uh, while they're getting uh, Billy in the back, it, it would be a good time to uh, take time out, and uh, we'll take a break in here, and we'll bring you up to date on uh, Bill when we get back. Right now, let's uh, let's go for a break. Back there, putting a little ice on him, trying to get him around. Uh, he obviously, after being banged with that helmet three times, can't be in too good a shape. Hey, I want to remind you next week, because of the great coverage of the Wimbledon Finals, uh, the Wimbledon Tennis Tournament will be on uh, TV5 next Saturday. It'll be starting early in the morning, so you'll get an opportunity to see all of the action. It'll be on from like um, 9 o'clock until, no, 8 o'clock until 2 o'clock, I believe it is. So that Studio Wrestling, TV5 Studio Wrestling, will be on next week at 5, uh, at 5, at 2 p.m. It'll be on immediately following the Wimbledon Wrestling. Now, uh, if you have tickets, don't let this throw you. If you have tickets, be here at the regular time. Be here at the regular time, which is 10.30 for those people with tickets. And, uh, uh, but it will be shown back on the air at 2 p.m. immediately following the Wimbledon Tennis so that's next week only, 2 p.m. for TV5 Studio Wrestling. Okay. Oh, yeah, stay tuned for the racers. Don't forget that. It'll be coming up immediately following wrestling today. And at 1 o'clock, it'll be Boston and New York. Is that right? I believe I wrote that down, right? Boston and New York ought to be a way of a ball game. Okay, let's take a look at the action coming up down at the uh, Coliseum on Monday night. Remember, the ticket office is open until 5 o'clock today so that you can get your advance tickets today or all day on Monday before bout time. Bout time being, of course, 8 o'clock. And the opening bout is going to be a match between Hans Schroeder and the Gestapo. They will be going against young Dallas Montgomery and Steve Regal, an outstanding young fellow that's uh, come into the territory. Be interested in seeing him in action with Dallas. Then a single match that ought to really be something. 
Big Pete Austin and Randy Tyler, two very large gentlemen. They'll be vying in there, and they'll be going at it Monday night in the Coliseum in a single match. Following that, it is going to be a bout that has significance in this fact that the winner of this match is going to get a shot at the Southern heavyweight title. Johnny Starr, you got a chance to see him in action. Showed that he's very quick, very tough guy, and he is going to be going against an undefeated fellow in the territory, outlaw Ron Bass out of Pampa, Texas. He will be uh, going against Starr with a winner to get a shot at the Southern heavyweight title. Then it'll be a return grudge match, and believe me, that's exactly what it'll be, a father-son tag match, most unusual situation, when Tommy and Eddie Gilbert go against Buddy and Ken Wayne as they renew their feud, and that one is going to be a real dandy. And stand by for the main event. Man, what a main event it's going to be, a six-man tag match. On one side of the ring, look at there, the king, Jerry Lawler, Bill Superstar Dundee, and Jackie Fargo will be on one side. Going against them will be Sergeant Danny Davis, Wayne Ferris, and Larry Latham. And boy, you can better believe that will be some kind of action starting at 8 p.m. Monday. You can get your tickets today up until 5 o'clock. Okay, right now, speaking of uh, uh, all of the action that you find from Jackie Fargo anytime he's around, uh, Jerry Lawler and Bill Dundee had some words to say with Jackie. Let's take a listen on tape. First of all, I'd like to explain to everybody that this little interview is being made early Thursday morning, and Bill and I got up bright, well, not bright, but we got up early and went to the hairstyles. We've had our hair done this morning. We put on our best clothes to come over to see <laughs> you. We put on our best clothes today to come over and see you, and what do we get? Jackie Fargo in his underwear. Now, what is this? That ain't Jack? my drawer legs. That's my jogging <laughs> shorts, buddy. That's my jogging <laughs> shorts. Can't you tell the difference? I suppose as early as it is, you've already been out running this morning. Yes, I have, Jerry. I really have. I, I got about three or four miles this morning. I had. I couldn't believe it. Now, I've, I've heard this for the past uh, three or four months. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. I've been hearing people been telling me, you ought to see Fargo. He's in great shape. He's been training. He's been running. Is that, is that what you well, You are in great shape. I can uh, see that. Let me tell you something, Jerry, that, that happened to me. I know we don't have a lot of time, but uh, I've been a pro athlete all my life, and I've stayed in fairly good condition. And there about six months ago, five months ago, I got up one morning and I look in the mirror to shave Jackie Fargo. And I look and my pants are too tight on me. And I was getting flabby, I'm getting fat. And I combed my hair, I didn't have care how it looked. And I said, what is happening to me? I said, I don't even like myself. Then I realized, I, I realized, uh, I said, wait a minute, if I don't like myself, I can't like other people. So I went out and, and uh, I said, well, I'm going to start jogging and get back on the weights. And I was going to jog a mile, and I think I made about half a mile. Couldn't do it. I couldn't believe it. Me being a pro athlete all my life and couldn't jog a half a mile. So I started walking, and I'd walk a mile and jog a mile, and I built myself up, and now I jog like five, six miles a day, and uh, I'm sure that there's a lot of people watching that do jog and exercise, and after you get uh, the third or fourth mile, you get a, a jogger's high. You feel like you're floating. And I got myself in condition. I laid out in the sun. I sunbathed, and I run. Now I like myself a lot, and therefore it makes me like other people a lot better. And the promoters would call me before, and I wouldn't go wrestle. But now I want to get back around people because I love Jackie Fargo and I love people again. Well, that's good. That that fits right in with the reason why we're here. Let I me tell know you. why you're here, Pally. You don't have to tell me why you're here. Why are we here? I know why you and Mr. <laughs> Dundee are sitting here talking. Why are we here? Because somebody's done you wrong. <laughs> Is that right or wrong, Pally? Yeah, okay. I know why you're here. Okay. I know exactly We why need you, here. right? I know you need me. All right. I know you need me, Pally. Let me just explain. What? I know that you need me for a reason. You're not in a wrestling match. You're in a heck of a fight with somebody. 
Well, that is right. You are, you're smart today, Jackie, this early in the morning. There, that's right. There are two guys, Wayne Ferris and Larry Latham. Have you heard of them? Don't know. Okay. Now, the reason you haven't heard of them is because they're a couple of punks that are trying to make themselves a reputation, and they think they're going to do it off of Bill and I. Well, we don't think they're so tough, but they got another little punk that starts sticking his nose in the business, or in our business, named Danny Davis. Now, what that makes it is three against two, and the last time we wrestled these guys, Davis comes running out. We got out of the ring, and the people said, get yourself another wrestler and make the sides even. Well, we don't want a wrestler, and that's why we came to you. Well, as you know, I kicked Joe Rump a lot of times, pal. <laughs> and if you're looking for somebody to do some kicking, stomping, and uh, gouging, and, and uh, they got a chain, I got one about, you know, anything they got, Pally. I got the bigger. If they got a chair, I got one bigger, and I got stronger arms to hit harder. And I'm the best. I invented the chain and the brass nuts, pal. Well, that's great because see the matches that we've been having don't even resemble wrestling matches. That's They're good. Fights. If you're looking we've for been a wrestling match, go out and get you somebody that can wrestle. I'm, right. I'm a fighter. That's why we're here. And I do it well too. That's why we're here to ask you to be our partner. You sir. got it. I knew why he was here. We didn't, we didn't even have to have this interview. I could have said, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> and I will be there. But I don't know these punks. Don't care to know them. But they will know me after it's all over. That's all. There ain't but one like him. We've known him for quite some time. And the guy has an enormous background of wrestling behind him. He and the fabulous Fargos uh, held... And still hold, as a matter of fact, some um, records up in Boston and in the East and in the South. Jackie Fargo, we thought you might be interested in this living legends background, and so we've got some pictures of Jackie and some things. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> 